A visitation is more than just going to visit someone. At Christmas time, people drop in, maybe at Easter, maybe unexpectedly people drop into your home. But a visitation is something usually that's planned. In the archdiocese, we used to have visitations of parishes when we would have to prepare for a year beforehand this whole summary of what we had done, what was going on, what needed to be fixed physically to the buildings, what needed to be fixed pastorally, socially in the parish. And the bishop would come, and there was no one leaping for joy at those times, I don't think. We have a much simpler process now. It's a much friendlier process, thank goodness. It's not as stressful. But this visitation was certainly not stressful, except maybe for the journey. Because in Karim, where Elizabeth was, was a great distance from Nazareth. In Karim is very close to the city of Jerusalem. It was quite a journey. It doesn't say who was with Mary, but certainly Joseph would have been with her. And perhaps some family friends, since they were going to visit her cousin Elizabeth. They may have asked Mary, why do you want to go see Elizabeth? Perhaps they knew that she was going to give birth. Certainly, Elizabeth, we know, is advanced in years. Advanced in years in the days of Jesus were probably around 40s or 50s, like my age. Sometimes I feel more advanced in age than others. But nevertheless, it is said that perhaps Elizabeth wasn't certain Although she had received a message, her husband, he couldn't speak. And Elizabeth wasn't certain that she was pregnant until she saw Mary and they embraced. And she felt the joy of the son in her womb as he encountered our Savior, his Savior, the one who would come, who was coming to save Israel, to save us. It was through that gift that Elizabeth came to know and to be certain. And she spoke the first of beatitude, blessed are you among women. Words that are on our lips constantly every day of our lives, I hope, as we remember the Virgin Mary, as we remember her gift to us, God's gift to her. She trusted in the Lord Jesus, in the Lord that the Son of God would come to save his people and was given the gift of bearing Jesus to the world. This act of visitation is important for us to realize that what God speaks is true. What the angel spoke to Zechariah, that his wife would bear a child, even though she was considered barren, came true. It was a true event in their lives. Zechariah trusted in the Lord, although he became mute because he doubted, but he still trusted he went home and was given the gift of his voice to proclaim the name of his son, John, or probably Johnny, when he was asked, no one in your family has that name. They were people of the Old Testament. They were people of faith. They trusted in the Lord and the gift of the Lord and the gift that would be given to them just as Mary trusted. We know that Mary from other stories that she was very devout in her prayers, that she even had a little corner in her room with an altar where she was praying to God. I always tell my parishioners it wasn't an altar with all kinds of statues and candles and flowers like they have in their rooms. It was just a very simple place where she would go to pray to be one with God to remember all of the scripture that was told to her that perhaps she read. When she was presented by her parents, she went running into the temple because she trusted in the Lord, even at a very young age. She trusted that Jesus would come to her, although she didn't know the name. She knew Emmanuel, God with us. Today, as we celebrate the Blessed Virgin Mary on this feast of the visitation, we listen to the words that she echoes in the Magnificat. We know that she asks us to pray with her for the lowly, for those who are put down, for those who are oppressed, for those who are forgotten. We pray 
that our leaders will remember them just as God remembered Mary, just as God remembers us. We never despair, but we always live in faith, knowing that our Lord is at our side and that Mary, our mother, is always ready to intercede for us.